Tulsi. Tulsi is one of India's, um, one of the very religiously holy kind of plant. Osimum sanctum is different to Osimum canum, by the way. And uh, we have a lot of my Brazilian friends. Osimum canum is typically more popular in Brazil. Okay, that is different to Osimum sanctum. Osimum canum is more for the kidney and and for the uh, kidney stones, for the renal stones. While Osimum sanctum, this remedy is for children. This is children's remedy. And I want to teach you this remedy. The main symptom of Osimum sanctum, and I'm showing you the entire materia medica of Osimum sanctum here. There will be some symptoms which are in this case, and there are some symptoms which are not in this case, but still I want to teach you. Okay. The main thing about Osimum sanctum, I want to tell you, is they are very, very irritable. They are one of the most irritable children in homeopathy. Irritability as soon as they get up. But the irritability gets a little better in the afternoon. And that's why many Sina children may actually be Osimum sanctum, plain general. They are often screaming and shouting out of the world. They are screaming so much. They torment. They trouble everyone around. <laughs> Osimum sanctum. They like, they like the attention. They like that someone talk to them. There's a lot of desire that people should give them attention. They are demanding. Give me attention. Give me attention. Osimum sanctum. At a deeper level, at a deeper level, there's a lot of forsaken feeling. There's a lot of feeling of neglected feeling. And this probably also comes at a deeper level from mother's state during pregnancy. Many mothers who bore Osimum Sanctum children at a deeper level feel very, very isolated, feel very, very kind of neglected. Osimum sanctum can get cough like bryonia, which means when they cough, there is pain in the chest. Pain in the chest while coughing, while sneezing. So a little bit like Sina, a little bit like bryonia. Very important for respiratory issues. Asthma in children. With this asthma, they constantly want to rock like this. Have a look. They will rock. And when they rock or when the mothers rock the children with the asthma, with the breathing, they feel better. You can see rocking ameliorate. Also a very important symptom of Sina, but also there in Osimum Sanctum. They have a lot of expectoration, sometimes more easy, but the taste is often sweet. This two-year-old child may not be able to tell you that taste is sweet. But maybe a 12-year-old child may be able to. Like Squilla. Squilla has sweet taste of the cough. Another remedy is Philandrium. Read the remedy. Philandrium. Dr. Srishti, to write down the name of the remedies that I share. So that you will not miss it. Dr. Srishti, are you there? If you are here, when I tell about the name of the remedies, sometimes rarer remedies, you can write down in the panel so that if it's a remedy that people may not know, like I told you, if the cough, the taste is sweet, it is often another important remedy to Osimum Sanctum is the remedy Squilla. And another very important remedy, which I often think is the remedy Philandrium. So Dr. Srishti, you can write, just write these lines in the chat so that people will remember it. <clears throat> Perfecto. Thank you, Shristi. Fever. Very important fever cases. Continued fever. And typically fever may go high. 99, 100, 101. But the peculiar thing in the fever is, remember, palms, the palms, the hand and the feet, very hot to touch. This is, lame gentlemen, 
only three remedies remembered sulfur very important osimum sanctum very important sanguinaria remember these three big remedies and there are many more remedies but these three very important remedies in fever in fever if palms and foot are very hot sulfur osimum sanctum sanguinaria but if in a case today today in my clinic we saw a case of child whose main thing is that he is not developmentally he is not developing well so he is very emaciated he he, he he is not dev parents tell me can you give some medicine to improve his overall development and when we check his palms they are very hot to touch there is only one remedy for this condition which i share with you and i told you that if you really want to become a real genius of homeopathy you have to become a walking talking matira medica so you can see here the name of the remedy oleum jack aselli okay which is actually a remedy prepared from cod liver oil this is a very important remedy which we give for developmental delay in children where the child is emaciated and the child is not putting on weight and he keeps on getting recurrent cold and cough with this when there is you can see here when there is palms are very very hot to touch then it is oleum jack aselli you are going to learn many many new out of box remedies that is going to revolutionize your homeopathic practice in children's cases welcome to homeopediatrics lane gentlemen and welcome to an entire community of learning growing and evolving in classical homeopathy my only request is this presentation i will put it up very soon dr srishti will put it up on the website and will share with you but every remedy i share with you you have to go back and you have to read it from boric materia medica only then you will remember because the only thing i want from all of you is just to read these all remedies that i share with you so that you can help more and more children in your clinics and you can help in and around you this is the best that i want for you let's come back osimum sanctum dekho extreme sleepiness osimum sanctum is so sleepy during the fever after the fever <gasps> sleepiness dekho it almost reminds you of gelsemium because gelsemium is very dull and drowsy during fever but gelsemium when you check the palms very cold to touch osimum sanctum very hot to touch number 1 number 2 gelsemium wants the covering on them in the fever osimum sanctum doesn't want the covering Osimum sanctum also has a symptom like calcarea sulvare. Somewhere at a deeper level, they don't feel appreciated. This is a symptom given by Massimo Mangiolo Vori. Interesting mind symptom. Osimum sanctum in Ayurveda by great Ayurvedic physicians, and you know that the best way to read homeopathy is not only by reading the homeopathic books, but broadening your horizon. this is what i learned from my teacher dr sankaran and dr shorkar that they never kind of only only read read one book they read many many multi dimensions of 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 that literature so you have to understand the osimum sanctum with the idea of how it was used in ayurveda how it is which which kind of family it belongs to what is its original source what is the ingredient in it and in that way you have to develop your own materia medica this is what i learned and this is what i try to follow as much as my limited ability allows me so the great ayurvedic physicians like charaka harita these are great ayurvedic physician just like how we talk about master hanuman in ayurveda charaka 
is is known as the father you know the top figure in ayurveda i i believe we have many we also have in our course many ayurvedic physicians from brazil osimum sanctum even in ayurveda is given for cough cold and nasal uh, uh, problems and also for scorpion bites very interesting very very interesting that we use it in ultra diluted potencies Osimum sanctum can be very very forgetful. Osimum sanctum. Sometimes you are talking to them and they will fall asleep. Osimum sanctum. The other very important thing, and this is a symptom that was taught to me by my teacher, Doctor Shorkar. And he used to often tell me that if you want to see a osimum sanctum child, you should see the lips. it is almost as if the small child has put a red color lipstick on the lips just by looking at this your mind should tell you this red lips during fever it could be osimum sanctum or belladonna or morgan pure or sulfur or many more but these are the important remedies you can write down this remedies in the chat please bright red lips remember Cute, bright red, all the mucosa, osimum sanctum, ladies and gentlemen. Very often, this child, this child whom you give osimum sanctum, you say, "Okay, show me your tongue," and they open the tongue, and the tongue is totally red. Again, bright red. reminds you of belladonna of apis mellifica and ferrum phosphoricum but the peculiarity is you you start using the torch and the tongue and you see very bad smell come from the mouth osimum sanctum offensive smell coming out from the mouth osimum sanctum now there might be another case where you see a case of a young girl and you open the mouth of the young girl and there is very bad smell coming from the young girl's mouth this could be a aurum metallicum girl have a look aurum metallicum allen's key notes have a look very nicely you can see in allen's key note foul breath in girls at puberty very beautiful given by master allen so interesting no so interesting just clinical observations this is how the classical homeopathy was practiced all over the world for years for decades for centuries just clinical observations and that is my dream that is my endeavor classical homeopathy back in today's times and i hope that about 500 doctors who have joined us will be on the forefront of spreading classical homeopathy because that is where the results is that is where the results is you will see the results and that will answer a lot of your questions but it's not easy you have to read you have to put a lot of energy into going through different literatures master hanuman once said homeopathy is not for the faint hearted it is not for a person whose heart is very weak you require a very strong will power because as a homeopath you are going to face a lot of failures because as a homeopath you are going to face many challenges and you know how many challenges our master hanuman faced in his life he was you know how he what all he went through and he said that the most important thing is even with this kind of challenges you should have the kind of will power to go back to homeopathic literatures and master it and that is the only way to heal the humanity and the sick so interesting no
let's come back but tell me till now are you all with me are you all getting an idea are you all getting this very beautiful picture of osimum sanctum let's go ahead osimum sanctum in original literatures also says that when you you know it is supposed to drive away the mosquitoes and it may prevent malarial fevers if it is cultivated near house and that's why many indian houses many indian villages have osimum sanctum as a plant which is grown next to the house so interesting and in short if i have to give you a whole formula for osimum sanctum and you know i i love giving you clinical tips although i don't recommend it i don't i don't recommend the idea of clinical tips at all but i have to share with you because that is the only way you can remember it i don't want you to undergo what all i went through to remember all i want you to remember it so osimum sanctum can be restless like tuberculinum can be irritable like sina can be hot heat like sulfur and can be redness of all the mucosa like belladonna this is osimum sanctum in a child's case and this will help you so much in a case of a child with upper respiratory tract infection with fever i want you to remember this formula for osimum sanctum throughout your life Osimum sanctum is tuberculinum plus sina plus sulfur plus belladonna. So hello and namaste. Um, I want to invite all of you for our homeopathic pediatric online certificate course. It has just started. An introductory lecture has just uh, got over. We just did it, but you all can still join. It's a sixty-hour online course certificate course. you will get an access for one year you can watch the recordings again and again and there are some really remarkable speakers in in our course uh, including uh, dr vijay vaishno dr mayuresh mahajan dr lm khan dr praveen jain some really phenomenal uh, teachers and all talking about pediatrics and talking about different different topics in pediatrics the case taking the behavior the developmental delay the allergy the homeo prophylaxis the autism the adhd everything together it's 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 a one of its kind kind of course and um, i genuinely do believe that uh, we are putting a lot of our energies in this course because this is one of its kind we genuinely want to do something by which we can upgrade the education and also our own selves so i hope that you all can still join you can write to us you have all the details there is still a discount offer for next few days write to us be a part of us i hope you liked the lecture before and i hope you like keep liking it again thank you mm -hmm.